Hey, it's Dan Nickerson, and this is an overview of my new plugin, WP Fresh Traffic. It's a plugin I created for my customers to help them generate more organic search traffic and to make basically just make sure their website and their WordPress install is optimized for the search engines and that you're doing what you can to generate good white hat traffic. I'm not going to make a promise that you install and activate this and click a couple of things and all of a sudden magically you're going to get a thousand hits a day. Uh, you should not buy products where they make promises that it's easy button or one push. Those I don't know if you've ever had success with one of those products, but it's pretty rare. If you can't put the time in when you buy a product, you can't put a, at least a couple hours into learning that product and using the product as instructed, then chances are you're not going to have success with anything you buy. So first off, disclaimer, this plugin does involve a little bit of work. Okay. So let me just jump into what some of the features are. So first off, when you install and activate it like any other plugin, you'll see this settings page, okay? And we have all these different features. There's eight different components here that you can enable or disable. So if you already have a 404 log, you can just disable it. If you already have a search log, you can just disable it. If you already have a word count plugin, you can just disable this functionality and it won't conflict. All you do is disable it and click save. But for most of you, you probably don't have these features in here. So let me just jump into the first thing, which is content ideas. So I used to have a plugin called Acme Inspirator. It was designed to help you uh, get better quality titles and better buying keywords and better content so that you would drive more traffic. If you have quality subject lines, if you have quality uh, keyword content, you're going to drive more traffic. It's as simple as that. So right here, you put your primary keyword in, right? And just click save. So if you have dog training, you can click on dog training. I'll just do that. I'll go in here and change this to dog training, for example, and click on save. And once I do that, I can click on buying keywords and it's going to show you all kinds of different dog training related titles based on that. Okay. So I'll scroll through that really fast because I want you to use the plugin and not just see what I'm doing here. Same thing with article titles. Here are article titles for dog training. So it just gives you article title ideas. Here is news. It pulls in recent news about dog training. So if you're looking for an idea for a story, you can go right to these different news stories and you can actually look at the content and maybe you can write a little blog post about the content link out to the article. So it just gives you ideas of what people are talking about in that niche right now. We also have Q&A. What we do is we pull in old content from Yahoo Answers. It's going to look dated in some cases because Yahoo Answers changed their feed, but the old content is still really good. And the good thing is, is that most of these questions are all resolved. So there's questions and answers here that you can use to rewrite, reformulate your own. Don't copy and paste, but it gives you ideas for the questions that people are asking, right? So for example, how to reverse dog training, that might be a relevant title to add to your blog and maybe no one's blogged about it in a few years. So your post is going to generate more traffic. Make sense? So then we also have a notepad so you can put in ideas. If you have a great idea for content, just add it in here and save it, right? Next we have a 404 log, right? So this will just show places that you're getting a 404 error on your site, which you can fix. So you want to look here and make sure that you're seeing any things that you want to redirect or, or fix or add a new post. Every time you have a 404, it's someone's going to your 404 page. Uh, if you have a backlink from somebody, maybe somebody owned your site before you and they have a backlink somewhere that's generating uh, you know, 50 hits a month, but it's not going anywhere. So here you could figure that out, redirect it, maybe put content on there. It's a simple way to reclaim traffic and get fresh traffic is to fix your 404 logs. Uh, next we have search logs. So you can see what people are searching for on your site. So if I searched anything on this website in the search box, it's going to show up here. This gives you ideas to know what your visitors are searching for. It lets you come up with navigation improvements or new content ideas or better interlinking so that people can find the content they're looking for. It's a great source of leads to know what people are searching for. So make sure you always have a prominent search box because otherwise people just get frustrated and leave. Next we have word count. What this does is actually go in and click on the word counts I don't have any posts in this one particular, but there's a word count column that's in here. And so this will show you all the word counts for all your posts. Now, if you see the word counts that are low, let's just say under, under 300 words, then that's identifying content that you can go in and add quickly to. So if you just found a word, an old post, or I'm just going to go to the trash here and restore something here. So I had a restore and restore. I had a couple examples here for a test. And here are all posts. And so you can see this has a 207 uh, word count. This has 110. Well, 110 is way too low. So if I went in here and just add, maybe I just 
looked at my post and I just added a summary to say, to sum up, here's what this post is about, right? And in that summary, that quick summary, you see this a lot on news sites. You'll, you'll see a big news story and all of a sudden you notice, geez, they just, they just keep repeating the content on this news story. And what they're doing is they're realizing that they just, by rewriting it, it's just getting more content, they're getting indexed better because they just keep reiterating the same point. But by doing that, as long as it's not copied and pasted and it's just rewritten a different way, you're going to generate more traffic if you have a higher word count on your post. So always try to keep your word, your, your post counts definitely over 300, over 500 is probably good. Somewhere in the sweet spot, 400 to 700, those numbers change all the time. But, but that just gives you an idea of things you can do to quickly generate things. Now the other thing is the, the, the title, right? So you look at this title, I, this was an example post, but it's a horrible title. So what you want to do is you want to change your titles to things that are people are searching for. So you can say something like, you know, what are the best dog training, you know, treats, right? Or something like that. And you want to change that and you can actually change the slug too if you want. But you want to make sure that you don't have just simple two or three keyword posts. You want to put it in the form of a question. If you just go through and rewrote your titles, uh, chances are you're going to generate more traffic from Google right away. Okay, so that's just one example. Let me go back to fresh traffic here. So then I, we have the word count, then we have plugins. And so what I've done, and this will, this will this will upgrade, but here are some plugins I recommend that you can install on your site. They're all one click install. So just, just click and then click on install. There's also some premium plugins, right? So I will add more of these. It's This plugin's on auto update, so you can auto update. Last thing we have is we have a checklist. So here I give you basically best practices for setting up your website for more traffic, right? So this is an increasing list. I'm not gonna scroll through so you can see everything. You have to install the plugin to see it. But essentially, I just go through and say, you know, if you do these 20, these 30, these 40 things, when you have free time, you're going to generate more fresh traffic. Oh, and I almost forgot, there are two more features of WP Fresh Traffic that will show up in your widgets. So if, when you go back to the settings page here, you might have noticed down here, we have tracking pixel and widget visibility. So these are both in appearance and widgets. So the first thing we did is we have a tra tracking pixel. I call it WP Fresh Pixel, right? That's your widget location. This goes in the header. So a lot of times with people, they, they don't realize how to add in a Facebook tracking pixel or a analytics code or a uh, meta tag for a particular thing like uh, Bing or Google and so here you can just drag this tracking pixel widget over here right and drop it in there and you can just add in your pixel right here right and now there's also widget visibility so you know sometimes pixels can put a load on your site maybe you don't want them on every page maybe you only want them on a landing page or on a uh, on a particular um, uh, post category, that kind of thing. You can use widget visibility to show it there. So if you put in your pixel, you can go show if page is, you know, front page, post page, or home page, right, image page. Any particular page you can actually just put in here and it will show only on that page. You can also have it show on every page except a particular page. So you can have multiple tracking pixels all in this fresh, fresh pixel. It gets loaded into your header. It's a really cool, unique way to add in a tracking pixel without having to edit the theme code, right? So no matter what theme you're using, it'll automatically transfer over. So you don't have to add the pixel to the hard coded to the theme. So that's a very cool feature. So once again, there's that and there's widget visibility built in. Now, one of the things with widget visibility as a way to generate more traffic is you can change your sidebars up. If you want to make your site look a little different, you can throw categories in and maybe you only show categories on posts that on a tags that have certain kind of tags, right? So you can use widget visibility to mix up your sidebar. You can maybe add some content on your sidebar that only shows on certain pages or rotates or have ads that only show on certain pages. All of that stuff kind of generates activity on your site, which may bring Google and the search engines to visit your site more often. So anyhow, that's it for the overview of WP Fresh Traffic. Uh, there's a video at WPFreshTraffic.com, this video, and you'll see ways you can get WP Fresh Traffic if you, if you want to try out the plugin. All right, great, thanks.